just depending on what your horse needs, you can you can ask that of these shock steers pretty easily. Uh, a lot of times this time of year, I'll get a group of young steers, and they they don't go very far very fast. They kind of get where they are tired, and they just go in little circles. This one's a little younger than than some of the other ones. Then you'll see she doesn't do she doesn't travel quite as much as a couple of those older cows, just not quite as in shape and broke so the turns will be closer together and if you have a, a horse that maybe wants to go a little fast uh, and you want to keep in contact with the cow you're going to cut one like this a little earlier than later use that energy up and then allow them to track around with the with a faster cow later after they're down i'm going to let it make a few turns kind of doing that because he kind of tried to draw you know which was great that's what I wanted but he kind of tried to do it almost to that right to get out of turning so I'm going to make sure he knows I can incorporate that into the work a little bit and he still has to continue working but then we're gonna I, re I really learned a lot right there uh, the other person that taught me a lot I think without really meaning to was uh Kenny, Kenny Dunn, he was a great, great customer. He would show up uh, any time of any day, and if I had a horse that had a sweat on it, he'd be upset at me, you know, and he had four or five horses. So I learned how to get horses trained for him without ever sweating them up. And, uh, you know, it, it really works if you're trying to develop young horses to, to work them more times a day and, and never fatigue them. And uh, I learned I learned that from that situation for sure. So that's when you started to understand the importance of the mind, right? You were... So it is it is really interesting that that you say that, and you know we're talking about a lot of different things that you can do to develop develop these horses. But uh, yeah, most of the really great ones are pretty great to start with, right? Yeah. And uh, last of all, uh, what advice would you give to any young trainer? aspiring trainer. I would say do the best you can with what you got.